I'm going to explain the procedure of microlaryngoscopy. You'll come into hospital on the day of the operation and you'll have a full general anaesthetic. The procedure takes around 45 minutes and you'll be able to go home four hours later. I'll see you around a week after surgery and your speech therapist will often see you around that time as well. It's important that before surgery, you continue all the necessary treatment for rhinitis, reflux and asthma and to continue the speech therapy exercises and working with your speech therapist. After surgery, we'll continue all of these medications and continue with speech therapy. You'll need to have four days of complete voice rest immediately after surgery. This means that you can't talk at all. It's important that you don't whisper, shout, cough a lot or clear your throat as these things can cause further damage to the voice box and stop healing well. To get the best result from surgery and to allow your voice box the best conditions to heal, I recommend that you stop smoking for at least eight weeks before surgery. It's also important to eat as well as possible while you're recovering, particularly vegetables and water. The better you eat, the better you heal. Pain will be very mild and should be well controlled with simple painkillers like Panadol. There's a small risk of swelling in the voice box in the first hour or two after surgery and the nurses will monitor you carefully for this. For most people, you'll need around a week off work, but if you're a professional voice user, you may need longer and your surgeon and speech therapist will let you know when you're ready to return to work. If you'd like more information, please ask me or my practice nurse or your speech therapist or look at our website.